Okay, so Corey's at the Phoenix Herpetological Society. They are offering day camps as a result of this teacher walkout. Yeah. So some kind of non-traditional. Yeah, kind of if you're kind of care. stuck right now, yeah. where do you take the kids? Hey, Maybe this is an option. Yeah, now I had some ideas. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, oh, like no. you want to wear your kids out. You just toss them up over the fence into the croc uh, <laughs> zone. That'll get and, them keep uh, them moving. You know, sure will. By dinner time, those <laughs> kids are gassed. Let me, let me tell you that much. <laughs> but you're right. We're here at the Phoenix Herpetological Society and Reptile Sanctuary. Uh, since 2001, they've been making the desert safe for the animals that live there and also keeping us away from them because uh, oftentimes you'll find them in your own backyard. You don't really want them there, but guess who's here? Caitlin Garcia. Caitlin, thanks for getting up early for us. We appreciate it. Um, and you're offering parents something really fun. Well, mm -hmm. for their kids, too, if they're going to be off school here for hopefully not very long. But uh, how's it all going to work? Yeah, so we're offering day camps. And those day camps are structured to meet Arizona's um, teaching curriculums. And the kids are going to be learning about reptiles every day, uh, about snakes, lizards, turtles and tortoises, and even some Crocodilians. Oh, wow. You got a little. Oh, they, yeah, so this look is a at him. Little baby Morlet's crocodile. What do you think he's thinking right now? He was just sitting on that <laughs> rock, and now all of a sudden, Caitlin has him in, his, in her grasp. Yeah, he's probably thinking, why am I getting picked up and not given food? Yeah, no kidding. And now, where is the Morlet's crocodile typically found? They're from Mexico, so this okay. is not an endangered species, but it's still commonly brought to the U.S. In a, as an illegal pet. So, really? How do you get one of these into the country? What's one of the more creative ways to bring a Morlet's crocodile across the border illegally? Um, people sneak them in their cars. I've heard people fly them over on airplanes. It's all crazy. Is there a big market for these things? Sometimes. In some states it is legal, but in Arizona you're not allowed to. Oh, I see. To gotcha. Them. Well, I'm telling you, your array of reptiles for viewing is very impressive. You've got crocodiles from all over the world and uh, tick off some of the species, uh, not just crocodiles, but of all kinds that you can see out yeah, here. Yeah, so we have Cuban crocodiles, Asian water monitors, um, Burmese pythons, reticulated pythons, cobras, rattlesnakes, <laughs> vipers from around the world. So the kids are going to learn about all of those during their day camps and it's nice weather right now so we can be outside and learn about all these animals. I love the way you're able to just casually toss cobras into the mix. That's really <laughs> nice. Now, who's this guy, by the way, this or this is, gal? This is Charlie, our American, one of our American alligators. Mm -hmm. So he's pretty relaxed. And then his uh, girlfriend right there is Lucy. Yeah, she seems sort of aloof. Yeah. It's like the blooms off the rose. Uh, he's he seems like uh, yeah. Alligators. There's sort of a meh attitude between the two of them how yeah. long have they been together years um these two yeah actually, it looks like it yeah they came from someone here in phoenix who had them illegally uh someone found them over their neighbor's wall and yeah. had to call oh, wow. on a game and any kids no <laughs> yeah that's too bad sometimes i can keep the marriage strong but uh, anyway <laughs> here's your uh, i'm not gonna put my own finger in there troy just for fun i don't really care to uh, this is more andrea's yeah, world she loves yeah. all the amphibians and oh. the reptiles uh, for sure mm -hmm. but anyway i've got a lot of space out, in my heart for those little off, things andrea. <laughs> We'd love to see you out here as well. Oh, she's so Have you casual. Ever been out here, Andrea? No, I haven't. Can you imagine being in that place? Really? This is the Grand Canyon of sanctuaries <laughs> for you, then. Uh, you should come out and see him sometime. He brought up the Grand Canyon. Not That's me. for Troy. I deserve it. I can handle it, and I can take <laughs> it. Great. Actually, Co I know. Carter would love. I haven't brought him out there. I need to, because he would love. Not too far. Yeah, yeah he loves he's things. all over kind of this. Yeah, not, a little not bit. too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate it, buddy. Corey's right. out, the Phoenix Herpetological Society. Uh, a lot of kids are going to be looking for something to do tomorrow. Yes, and they're offering a great place for them to go. Hey, Corp. Oh, what's yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, good morning. Like a horned something. Uh, yeah, what's that indeed? <laughs> yeah, it is a horned something. You're right, Troy. Oh, Corey's you're very good. good. When it comes to uh, herpetological guessing games, <laughs> Troy's yeah. he's one of the best out of the studio. Who are this? Is uh, Gorlock? Is that right? Gorlock. Gorlock. Yeah. The Bearded dragons, so they are related to the horned lizards or the mm -hmm. horny toads, but they're from Australia. Got a very serene, sort of a.
confident look about him. Yeah, they're really common pets, and people just love having them because they are easy to handle. They don't really run around a lot, and they're pretty easy to feed. They're omnivores, so a little bit of fruits and veggies and some bugs, and they're happy. Love that. And, and they're... Would you say it's a good um, kind of a starter pet for kids, e easy to handle and all that? Most definitely. We would definitely re recommend these as starter lizards for sure. Yeah. Now, we're in the, the venom house, I like to call it, but uh, we've got virtually every known uh, <laughs> reptile, every snake of the world seems to be here, and most of them did not come by choice. Uh, you have a lot of uh, snakes turned in, or you you find it, uh, them to be, uh, or the police find them. You know, they're not supposed to be in people's houses. Um, I don't know who keeps venomous snakes at home, but what would you say is the most dangerous beast in this facility? So it depends on if you're talking about most deadly or yeah, more let's, venomous. Let's go venomous first, okay. then we'll go. Okay. So these guys down here are the most venomous snakes in the world. They're the inland taipans. Wow. Obviously, they're triple locked like all these other snakes are. But drop for drop, they have the worst venom, but they've never caused any deaths on the books because they're from such a small part of Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, the interior of Australia. Who right. goes there? And if you do, it's your own fault. <laughs> right. And the eastern brown snake right above them is the second most venomous in the world. But they do cause a lot of fatalities because their range is so wide. Inland Taipan, it mm -hmm. says. huh? Boy, um, very impressive. Now, this has to be an all-day, round-the-clock job feeding all these guys. Do they all eat on the same schedule? We have them staggered, so it's a little bit more easy to feed all of them. We have five paid employees and then about 40 active volunteers that come weekly to care for all of these animals. All right. Well, let's, uh, as we wrap up, focus uh, again on the kids. Yes. They can swing on out tomorrow. Mom and Dad can uh, drop them off. You've dropped the price of your day camp, right? We did. Usually the day camps are $75, but we're doing it for 50 for the parents that are still looking for places for their kids. We've actually had a couple people donate funds for kids that might not be able to afford the $50, so that's really sweet, too. Um, it starts at 9, ends at 4, with before and after care available as well, so Thursday and Friday. Very good. Well, I don't know if you can hear what we're listening to, Troy and Andrea. You hear this? Yeah, don't freak Andrea out. We've got a big I interview with the yeah, governor coming up. That's why they call them uh, buzzworms. <laughs> they're, they're called buzzworms. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, uh, of course, the canebrake unhappy. rattlesnake. They're also called uh, danger noodles. I think danger. we've heard. Danger noodles, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> Caitlin just informed me of a third and beautiful option, nope ropes. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Andrea, I think you'd nope like rope. that one. Not pick up today. That rope? <laughs> Not nope. today. Boy. They are beautiful animals. This one apparently ate, uh, alone. looks They're like fine. one of the coyotes players earlier. That's a pretty big lump inside him. I don't know. What did he just have for breath? I don't know. I don't it's know. A professional guess, hockey player. Ooh, it looks right, like buddy. he's digesting anyway, stop out there. Come out and see us tomorrow. We will. Okay. See you, partner. Thanks.